Up next on HDMI test bench, we have a wireless HDMI extender that actually works. Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd Anderson, editor at the home theater forum, avnirvana.com. And today we have a new wireless extender back on the bench for testing. If you've watched our other wireless HDMI reviews, you'll know that we've yet to test a wireless HDMI product that lives up to its claims, let alone proving capable of working in a way that makes it usable in a media center situation where you need a cable-like connection. That changes today though. Recently, a company called Vanco sent this to me. This is hot off the press and it's actually sold under one of Vanco's brands called Evolution, which is reserved for pro audio and video products. And what you're looking at is the 4K wireless HDMI extender with HDMI loop out. It's technically model number EV4KW HDMI which you can clearly see stands for Evolution 4K Wireless HDMI. Vanco says the kit is a plug and play solution that can wirelessly transmit a 4K 60 Hertz signal and two channels of audio up to 164 feet line of sight. They say it can also push the signal through floors and walls, promising if a Wi-Fi signal can reach it, this extender can. For my previous wireless extender testing experience, those are pretty bold claims. The extender is more than just a wireless HDMI product. It also has a built-in IR repeater that allows you to remotely control a source from a different area of your home. And it has an HDMI loop out on the transmitter unit that can dump an incoming signal through an HDMI output to a nearby display or processor. Before we discuss performance, let's examine some physical features and characteristics on both the transmitter and receiver units. The kit comes nicely boxed and you can see there that the transmitter and receiver units are practically identical. They ship with their articulating antennae removed, but those are easily screwed on. You're also given these little wall mount brackets that can be screwed onto the sides of each unit. These allow you to mount the boxes to a flat surface, such as a wall behind a flat panel TV. And they're very sturdy and can hold one of these boxes just about anywhere you want it to. And then you can see there, you have to add power from a plug to make the kit work. Unfortunately, to get the necessary five volts of power, you need to use the included plug head. So that's something you'll need to add to your installation calculus. The plug heads are longer than they are wide and the way the prongs are oriented, they're easy to slip into a tight spot on something like a power strip. So while not ideal, their shape makes the best of what's required. And last but not least, we have the infrared IR dongles. Their cords are about 40 to 41 inches long. Here's a look at the back side of the transmitter. This is the unit that you'll pair with a source. It's very simple. We have an HDMI input. There's your HDMI loop out port, your IR input power, and a service port. And here is a look at the back of the receiver. Very similar. On the front, we have three indicator lights. They show power, the connection status between the transmitter and receiving unit, and whether or not an HDMI signal is detected and being transmitted. You also have a channel button that you can press to select one of four broadcasting channels. They all operate in slight variations of the five gigahertz range. And because there are four different channels, you can operate up to four of these kits at the same time in one location. Overall build quality is very nice. I really like their rugged metal shells. Everything seems to be of high quality. They aren't that bulky. The cases themselves are just under an inch thick and are roughly four and a half inches wide by about 4.9 inches long. The antenna, however, do require some space, though they rotate and bend, so you're given quite a bit of flexibility regarding how they're positioned. Just keep in mind, they add up to about eight to nine inches of length to each box, depending on how you keep them oriented. Getting the kit powered on is as simple as plugging it in. And once it has power, it takes about 28 seconds to boot and establish a connection. And once you plug in an HDMI source and try to feed it a signal, it takes another 11 seconds or so to sync and begin transmitting. Back here on the bench, I ran the kit through a battery performance test using Meridio's AK Fox and Hound test kit. First, I tested the loop out port. Now keep in mind that this kit, and by kit, I mean the Vanco kit, it is using an HDMI 2.0 chipset. That means we're working with 
18 gigabits per second, which I confirmed the loopout accommodates. Performance-wise, the Meridio kit was also able to max out the loopout's performance at 4K 60 Hertz with HDCP 2.X and HDR10 engaged. It also passed through eight channels of audio. So you can think of this loopout as a solid HDMI 2.0 capable output that will cover the vast majority of your video needs, whether you're connecting this kit to a cable box, a Apple TV 4K player, a Blu-ray player, or even a computer. Now, moving on to wireless performance, I was also able to achieve 4K resolution at 60 Hertz, 8-bit color, and two channels of audio. That's confirmed with the Merdio Fox & Hound kit. And it's worth noting that audio tops out at 48 kilohertz, which is a common sample rate used for movies and high quality audio. After looking at performance characteristics with the Fox and Hound kit, I wirelessly ran a picture to a 4K projector. Yeah, you can see right there, we're getting the same performance when transmitting a signal to a 4K display. Now, one caveat, and there is always a caveat, right? Uh, the caveat is that HDR or high dynamic range information is not transmitted by this wireless kit. So if you feed it 4K HDR media, it strips the HDR away. Vanco tells me that they looked at all sorts of options during the design process and settling on 4K 60 Hertz SDR gave them access to the highest quality performance at the most reasonable price point. And I know you heard that word price. Don't worry, we'll get to the price really soon. But essentially what all of this means for you is that the kit will work great for situations where you're sharing something like a computer screen, but also standard HD content. So we're talking about HD content sourced from a cable box or an external streaming device. And definitely 4K standard dynamic range video. If you feed it 4K HDR, you might end up with a picture that looks washed out. And I say might because it really depends on the source. I tested out here and at times it didn't seem to matter. Other times it was a total no-go. So definitely keep that in mind. Vanco claims the kit can transmit up to 164 feet in direct line of sight. So. I took it outside with the Meridio 8K Fox and Hound test kit and successfully got a signal from about 190 feet away. So I'd say that 164 spec is more than generous. I also tested Vanco's claims that it transmits through walls and floors. And here you can see I have the transmitter set up down in my basement in a room with a wall that has thick concrete behind drywall and that signal had to pass through several rooms, dense hickory hardwood flooring, and it was also positioned adjacent to a furnace room. So basically traveling from one side of my home to the other, and yep, you can see right there, it worked flawlessly. Vanco told me they wanted a high quality image and part of that performance comes from a latency spec of 130 milliseconds. I just want you to take a look at this test pattern being transmitted from the far end of my home. It looks so smooth. It's exactly like a cable connection. And here's a look at some video from a 4K Blu-ray player. Yeah, it too, really just flawless. I watched quite a bit of HD and 4K SDR content with this kit. It never faltered and the image it delivered was consistently of high quality. It left me super impressed with its ability to stream. It's just really fantastic stuff. Now, just something to note, when I used the kit with a Blu-ray player, there were certain moments during loading a disc or reaching a menu where the kit would reinitiate its handshake process. So we're talking about a 10 or 11 second blackout period, which if I'm being honest, was a bit of an annoyance. I didn't experience this uh, when switching between apps on Apple TV or changing channels on DirecTV stream. Those moments of a blackout screen were specific to using a disc player. Now, in terms of latency, it's very, very good. Here's some video of me playing Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch. Granted, I wasn't asking this kit to transmit the signal more than just a few feet, but what lag was there was hardly noticeable, though if you're a hardcore gamer, anything over 60 milliseconds really isn't acceptable. And remember, latency on this kit is 130 milliseconds, so if you're a gamer, I'd stick with 
a cable connection. I also tested the kit to mirror my MacBook Pro to a TV. The connection was solid and on-screen movements were silky smooth. It's very professional looking and of high quality. So if you're looking for a device that can serve in a commercial or teaching scenario, this kit will definitely serve you very, very well. Now, because you might tuck this kit away in a tight space, operating temperature is something worth talking about. After streaming a signal for two hours straight, these units run about 86 degrees on top side and about 90 degrees underneath talking about slightly warm to the touch, so no real concerns there. When we think about Vanco's marketing and all of the promises about this product, I've got to say it delivers on all fronts. And to be quite frank, I am totally blown away by how well it performs. This easily gets the HDMI test bench stamp of approval as a solid buy. I have zero concerns with using this as a full-time wireless HDMI solution with a cable box or a streaming player, keeping in mind that content is best in SDR. Now let's talk price, that dirty little word price that we've all been waiting for. You know, we have looked at several other HDMI streamers that didn't live up to their billing and they both landed in that $100 to $200 range, which is, I would say, a real sweet spot when it comes to price. And the MSRP on this Vanco kit is quite a bit more landing roughly at $995 if you were to buy through a custom integrator or a home theater distributor. Though I did find it on B&H Photo for $849. So it's not inexpensive, but we've seen how poorly inexpensive kits work. If you want something of quality, it's not going to be cheap. And in this case, you know, this guy is right on that edge of being really expensive, but he definitely gets the job done. All right, folks, I'll drop a link to B&H down in the description. If you have any questions for me, the best place to find me is on the home theater form at avnirvana.com. I'll drop a link to the thread for this kit down below in the description as well. See you next time.